Silkscreen or newer laser printing markings are the traditional way to add a legible information layer to the surfaces of boards. It can be used to outline component packages, markings, and orientations. It can even include a manufacturer's logo or barcode for an automated accounting system. In the context of manufacturability, there are two aspects to consider. The first are the minimum dimensions of the elements. The second is the position of the marking elements relative to exposed copper sections. Regarding the dimensions of the silkscreen primitives, it is important to not use lines that are thinner than what the manufacturer can handle. For our convenience, stroke type fonts can be used on the silkscreen. When using them, it is easy to control the symbol height and minimum line width, setting these parameters in the object properties. Characters are built from primitives of a given width, which must be equal to or greater than that allowed by the manufacturer. When selecting the size of fonts, don't forget about their legibility as well. The marking paint on contact pads can cause issues with soldering, so controlling the position of the marking is critical. Often, manufacturers will remove segments of the markings that overlap exposed metal surfaces. This will eliminate soldering problems, but will make the marking unreadable. The position of these primitives is controlled by the DRC according to the Silk to Solder Mask Clearance Rule. You can check the distance from the edge of the mark to the edge of the mask opening or to the exposed copper. You should consult with the board house about what the minimum allowable values for these parameters are. They depend on the accuracy of alignment of the marking layers with the surface layers. Using the PCB rules and violations panel makes it easy to trace all violations of this type and correct them.